Hi Water Signs, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your singles reading for the next seven days. This is for Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces for the next seven days. If you are single, you're single, this is for you, Water Signs. What do we got for the next seven days? Keep in mind that there's no fluff here, which I, many of you already know, but if you are new and you are looking for fluffy, you're in the wrong spot. What do we got for Scorpio, Cancer, and Pisces? For the next seven days, they're single. And they, might, they might not be ready. They may not be ready. Might not be the time. I mean, upright, the time is now. There's a lack of balance and harmony. You need to remove some obstacles before you're ready, right? Maybe there's something in the way. Maybe you need to love yourself first. Maybe you need to open your heart. Maybe you need to be emotionally available. Oh boy. Yeah, you maybe maybe you got your guard up. Maybe you're defending yourself. Maybe you're maybe you're you're warding them all off and you're like, no, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up. You know, you're not it, you're not it, you're not it. Back up. Back up. You know? Maybe it's just like, you know what? You're not ready. It's like you're not. Maybe you don't trust anybody. Maybe you're not wanting to communicate with anybody because you feel like you got to protect yourself. Yeah. You may be um, scared of being cheated. You're being really careful, right? It's like you are. It's like you're being really careful. You don't want to get yourself trapped in any situations that are going to steal your power, right? Oh, boy. You may be clinging to the past. I mean, Six of Cups reverse. Somebody's clinging to the past. We have a soulmate connection here. We do. Soulmate connection. Six of Cups, somebody from your past, soulmate connection. So it looks like we have a soulmate connection that somebody may be holding on to. Therefore, they're pushing everybody else away. I mean, come on now. What more can I say? Should we stop the reading now? Goodness gracious, it looks as though somebody is needing to come outside of their comfort zone and stop hiding. Somebody is hiding and they need to come out of hiding. It's like somebody is trying to escape reality. You know, maybe looking back at, I mean, you got to always see what's mirroring each other. All, and this is observation at the past, looking back at the past, looking back at the past, looking back at the past. And it's like, perhaps you're cheating yourself of a soulmate connection because you keep looking back at the past. I mean, for some of you, that's the case. I think there's two people here that really do love each other. They really, 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 really love each other. But there's no communication. There's no communication. Or somebody is refusing to communicate because maybe they're in another situation. I don't know. There's been some deception. This person doesn't want to come clean. Whatever, whatever.
It's like, I think somebody is pushing other suitors away because they're clinging to the past and they have an opportunity for love. There's an opportunity for love here, whether it's with the person from the past or not. There's an opportunity for love. But it's like the relation, there's a, it's like nobody's accepting it. Clinging to control. Somebody is clinging to control, wanting to be in control. Ego. Ego and pride are in the way. Therefore, it's like... <clears throat> There's a loss. There's a loss of love. It's like there's a feeling of emptiness because pride and ego are in the way of a soulmate connection. And that really sucks. It's like there's an opportunity that is being tossed away. It's being tossed away because somebody has an issue with being in control. You know, I got to win. I got to win this situation. I have to be in control. I have something to prove. And so, therefore, they're throwing away a relationship. They are. They're throwing away a stable, solid opportunity. Because they're refusing to accept change. They're refusing to make any changes. You know, they keep looking back at it. And they're very conflicted, you know. Definitely conflicted. Definitely. There's a lot of power struggles here. It's like we're dealing with somebody who's playing the game. They love the competition, right? They love the competition. They love the drama of the situation. Oh, there's going to be a breakthrough. Yes, there is. There is going to be a breakthrough. Something is about to change. In a big way. In a really big way. Somebody's about... Some sort of truth is about to be revealed. Something is going to happen. Something is going to happen. And it's going to and it's gonna break down something. There's going to be some sort of rude awakening that changes everything. Trust me. Somebody has or, or, or refuses to apologize, refuses to come with anything stable and solid because they don't have integrity. We got somebody here that refuses to be held accountable for anything, doesn't want to put in any effort, and they're going to get some sort of rude awakening here. I mean, the King of Swords reverse. That's that's abuse. There's abuse. Again, I don't want to be held accountable for my actions. I will not be held accountable for my actions. We have we have somebody here that is a using is using emotional blackmail as a tactic. By not offering, by not communicating, by not opening their heart, they think that they are in control. They think that they are in control. But it's like they want to go home. They want to go home. They want it. They want this of their abundance back. It's like they really do want to save something, but. For some reason, they cannot master their emotions to step forward. They cannot. It's because of ego and pride. Mmm. Mmm. We have a really prideful individual here who is throwing away a soulmate connection. And um, there is still an opportunity to save it if they can wake up. Anyhow, um... 
it looks to me like somebody here is definitely losing a golden opportunity that could be saved. And it's not being saved because pride and ego are in the way. Um, you're, you could be dealing with somebody who refuses to apologize or refuses to step forward with integrity. Um, they are watching you, and but they haven't changed. They, 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 they are trying to escape reality, okay? They are. They haven't changed, but they are go getting some sort of rude awakening. Um, perhaps they see that the person they love is uniting with somebody else. <laughs> I don't know. This is kind of confusing. I feel like we have somebody here that is reluctant to move on, reluctant to see a new approach. Staying in conflict, staying in a situation that is kind of like a dead end because whoever you're holding on to doesn't have the ability to open their heart. They're not using their heart. Their ego is driving, okay? Whoever, somebody here that is in this reading, whether it's you or the person you're dealing with, somebody that is watching this reading or is in this mix, their ego is the size of Mount Rushmore. It really is. And they can't, they can't, they can't move out. They can't move out of this troublesome state of mind. They cannot. They can't. It's like they feed off of the drama. Therefore, they're throwing away an opportunity because they really have something to prove. But what is this tower? I mean, this is a rude awakening. It's all been a lie with the Eight of Swords. It's all been a lie with the Seven of Swords reversed. It's been a lie. It's all been a lie. And some sort of truth is going to be revealed. Hmm. Interesting. Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have everybody here. It doesn't really matter. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have everybody. But the fact of the matter is, is that somebody is throwing away an opportunity that is stable, solid, and secure because of stubbornness. Somebody is not being realistic. Somebody has been holding on to a false foundation with somebody that is not well suited for them, thinking that they can pretend. You know, the temperance reverse is pretending. It is. Somebody has been pretending that they're happy when they're not. Okay? <sighs> Son of a bitch. It just, it really feels like somebody is really unable to move on from the past when they have an opportunity to save something, but they're refusing to apologize. So, I don't know. I don't know who this is for, how this is going to resonate with you, but... It's like there's a transition that needs to happen that somebody will not allow. Clinging to control with that emperor reverse, trying to control destiny, trying to control the universe when, you know, somebody's holding on to a false foundation with somebody that isn't well suited for them, think trying to pretend that they are, and it's causing... Uh, them to lose an opportunity so i mean that's what i have here i mean is there new love coming in for water signs there it probably is yes there is new love coming in for water signs if you could accept it if you could you know let somebody in let somebody love you yeah it's like somebody doesn't want the 
the situation in the past to be final. Somebody's not doing the right thing by holding on to a situation that is unbalanced and unhealthy. It's time to do the right thing. Somebody, it's time to do the right thing. And I feel like we got somebody here that is just refusing to do the right thing. Yeah, we got a master manipulator here. Somebody that is a complete liar. Not telling the truth at all. We have like a narcissist in this mix. We do. With the emperor reversed, the justice reversed, the magician reversed. I mean, come on now. We got somebody here at the Seven of Swords reversed. I mean, we got somebody here that is totally controlled by ego and pride. And they're throwing away a huge opportunity because of their pride. So singles this is for singles damn it you know i don't feel like you will accept any new offers because you are still clinging to the past and it's soulmate connection one more card oh god complex decision you have to make a choice this is the seven of cups there's an opportunity to, rainbows are peace to bring p peace to a situation to bring peace to your life if you make the right choice you got to make a different choice somebody did not make the right choice and now this is a card of consequences and i have to tell you the justice reverse is bad karma. When you don't act with integrity and do the right thing, you get bad karma. So, I, you know, you can't fight the universe and somebody has been trying to fight the universe. You can't fight the master plan. You can't, you know, it is what it is. But somebody, that's what somebody's trying to do. And therefore, they're losing an opportunity for love and all they have to do is make a better choice. So anyway, the tower is a rude awakening. It is a rude awakening. Somebody is probably starting to wake up that whoever they're dealing with, whoever they're holding on to, isn't going to apologize they aren't going to change and they are not going to be held accountable for their actions and it's time to stop letting yourself be stuck it's time to stand up for yourself and let go Is there new love? Is there new love for the water signs? Is there new love? <laughs> After you complete that cycle, you have to complete the period that you're in. You have to let it end. Right now, you're still stuck. You need to break those chains. Complete that cycle so that you can begin again. Is the new love coming in this week? No. I'm not going to fluff it up. I'm sure you can find some other water sign readers that will. Good luck.